It's a health care crisis that's only getting worse, and it could affect almost all of us in the coming decade. The people we see the most in hospitals, nurses, are becoming more scarce. Money editor John Delano has more. It's a growing medical crisis, a shortage of nurses. Predicted to be probably by 2025 about a million uh, nurses needed to replace the nurses that are retiring or leaving the workforce, and also for the new demand of the changing uh, dynamics of health care. Bill Englert, CEO of Allegheny Valley Hospital, says nurses are needed in so many new roles these days. Nurses placement at the physician offices or nurses in the insurance industry or nurses working in quality or nurses working in other types of, of roles that weren't traditional nursing roles in the past. Bottom line, demand for nurses is up everywhere. Is there a shortage here in Pittsburgh? Yes, in particular in, in Pittsburgh. Every one of our health care systems has um, indicated that they have open, unfilled positions for nurses. Lynn George, Dean of Carlo University's Nursing School, says Carlo is trying to recruit people to nursing. We have a second degree in nursing program, which is for individuals who have a bachelor's degree in something else, right. and they decide they want to be a nurse. This is the old ITT Technical Institute at Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Come October, the Allegheny Valley Hospital and the Allegheny Health Network hope to open an expanded school of nursing right here. Why? Because there is a great need to expand the number of students in nursing. Of course, what will attract more men and women to nursing is better pay, says nursing professor Janice Nash. I would say that there's still room, a lot of room for improvement, and um, it's that acknowledgement and recognition of the work that they do and how vital their role is. While 10% of registered nurses earn six figures, Pittsburgh has among the lowest RN salaries in the state, with a median of $66,000 a year, or 32 bucks an hour. That will have to change to fill the shortage. And that's important to recognize all that nurses do and to use them fully to their capacity. John Delano, KDKA TV News.